This is 96, number 16. Um, it wants me to find two square roots of 3 plus 4i and express my answer in polar form. So I can't do the square root thing until I, I want to do de mauve on it and I need to have it in polar before I start. And luckily they're letting me leave it in polar, so that's actually nice. Um, so this is rectangular here, so I need to get it in polar. So this first number tells me it's kind of like the x-coordinate. And this one's kind of like the y-coordinate. So this point's right here. We're letting the y-axis be the imaginary axis and the x-axis is the real axis. So to express this in polar, I draw a triangle. And this is the like the hypotenuse. And this is like that. So um, I know that I can use Pythagorean theorem. This side of the triangle is 3 and this side is 4. I don't even really need to use Pythagorean theorem because I recognize this as a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. So you can work out the Pythagorean theorem. You will find that this hypotenuse is 5. And so um, I'm going to go 5, 6. Because remember, it's R cis theta. So 5 cis theta would be this angle. So I can get the angle measure by going um, tangent. I like to use tangent, inverse tangent. Or I can say tangent of theta is tangent is the TOA, right? Opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 4 and adjacent is 3. So if I inverse tangent both sides, I'm going to have to use my calculator. That's not going to be found on my unit circle, probably. Um, let's see. Shift tangent four thirds. So I get about 53.13 degrees right there. Your book rounds it to 53.13, so that's good. Now I can use de Moivre because I have R cis theta. Okay, so um, I'm, I want square root, so I'm going to raise it to the half power. And so the, the way the de Moivre thing works is you take a root of R, so that's not very nice, that's going to be root 5. And then um, you're, you, this one you don't take a root, you actually just divide or multiply which is the same as dividing it by 2, right? So I'm going to divide that by 2. I got about 25.5, or wait, 26 point, round it to 26.57, okay? Now, your book doesn't leave it as root 5, so I'm going to go ahead. I just noticed when I looked in the answer book, I just noticed they don't leave it like that. They're going to get a decimal approximation. So I want to find out what square root of 5 um, decimal approximation is. Um, it's this. So I'll probably round that to 2.24. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite it like this. Okay, so that is one of them. And then we can get all of the, there's only going to be two square roots. So we get the next one by adding half of 360 to the angle. So what's half of 360? 180. So I'm gonna, all I have to do is just add 180 to that angle. So there's the angle. Um, 26.57 plus 180. Uh, that gives me 206.57. 206.57. That's all I have to do. Now, sometimes they'll make you put it back into rectangular, and that's a little bit of a pain. Well, it's, it's not a pain, but it, well, it's take you longer, right? But this is, right now they just want it expressed in polar, so it's done.